Hi, I'm Shane. I'm with the Badger Wheels development team, and I uh, wanted to take a minute today to tell you a little bit about the new product we have. It's the Badger Handle Stand Assembly. Uh, first, I'm going to explain to you what's in the box. Uh, if you order the product, it's going to come in a small box like this. Uh, first item is an instruction sheet. Very important. Want to give that a quick read. Uh, next is the actual handle and assembly. You should receive a base plate. It'll have two pieces of high bond adhesive on each piece. We'll talk a little more about that in just a second. A package of four stainless steel screws and then the actual handle stand assembly. Okay, first thing we're gonna do to mount the base plate to the cooler is remove the drain plug. Use a dry cloth. You can use Windex, uh, alcohol, uh, key items being you want the cooler clean, free of debris, no residue uh, on the area we're gonna put the adhesive. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the two uh, strips uh, so that we can get the high bond adhesive uh, to make good contact with the cooler. So, want to line it up directly over the hole. Be sure not to block your drain plug hole and then press it securely in place. If you have a uh, 75, 65, 50 quart or smaller cooler, you're certainly welcome to leave the base plate without any screws in it. Uh, if you have a, a 100 quart or larger cooler, we recommend putting at least two screws into the base plate to make sure that the base plate stays in place. Next, we're going to go ahead and take two screws and screw them into the base plate. If you have a 332nd drill bit, you can pre-drill it. Uh, don't drill any more than a half inch into the cooler. You certainly don't want to penetrate the inside of the cooler. If you uh, have a cordless screwdriver, uh, certainly these screws will penetrate the cooler with a little bit of pressure. Uh, don't over tighten it. You don't want to strip anything out. This doesn't require a lot of strength. And your base plate's now uh, secure to the cooler. Replace your drain plug. Very important note here, uh, this high bond adhesive needs 24 hours to cure and that's really not uh, optional. If you don't wait 24 hours, you won't get a good bond to the cooler and you run a risk of that base plate coming loose. If you do wait your full 24 hours, guarantee you that high bond adhesive is going to stick very well. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. We've given this handle a, uh, the full 24 hours to cure. Uh, that glue is on there nice and tight. Uh, first thing, if you want to use the handle, simply slip it on, lift up, and your cooler is now ready to roll. Uh, when you get to where you're going, simply drop the handle down, remove the handle, pick the cooler up, set it on top. Gives you a nice stand for leveling the cooler so you can get in and out of the cooler, sit on the cooler, use it as you normally would. Okay, next uh, we went ahead and mounted up a large set of wheels, the uh, beach wheels on the cooler. Just want to show you quickly uh, sort of the same thing. If you want to roll the cooler, simply put the handle on, roll it. Uh, when you get where you're going, drop the handle down, remove it. This time, if you put the cooler, if you put the handle on its side, simply pick it up, set it on. Now you're ready to use the cooler for the day. And that's it. That's, uh, that's everything I have to show you about the new handle stand on the, uh, on the Badger wheels.